Hey guys, um, today is I think uh, lockdown day number six. Uh, it's it's quite hard to keep the count nowadays. It's it's um, the days are going um, um, so haphazardly. Um, it's it's even tough to remember which one is a Saturday, which one is Sunday. Anyways, I have something in special in store for you guys, um, and which is something which is very very close to my heart. Um, it's better than a silver. It's better than a gold. Uh, it is a lady's uh, dream jewel, the diamond. And uh, but for men, um, I think a lot of men like me who are into comic collecting and who enjoy comic uh, comics a lot, and just not just men. I mean, even uh, uh, women who who enjoyed it uh, a lot. For them, this will evoke a lot of nostalgic memories. I'm talking about uh, Diamond Comics here, uh, the comics which was started by uh, Gulshan Rai in 1978. um so so that's what i have uh, in display for you guys here today and i'm going to just give you a history lesson because this comic book company has a lot of rich uh, history associated with it uh, why you ask uh, because this was um, the parent company was i think it started in 1907 and it was called bharatiya bandarak pustakalaya and um, um, so that was in uh, pakistan um so it goes way way back right and then um after independence after the the split happened um uh, i think it again restarted in india by the name of punjab bhandar pustakalaya right uh, and after that was in 1950 and it took another 28 years for diamond comics to be finally uh, brought to life by gulshan rai so that's a brief history and of course we all know the favorite um, cartoonist brown and uh, the bunch of characters that came out of his pen which are very famous uh, across the diamond line of comics and my favorite and the most famous of them all is none other than this small guy here um for those of you who know him needs no introduction uh, chacha choudhury the man whose brain works faster than a computer right uh, that's something which is now related to even chakuntala devi for the uh, for the i mean general crowd right and uh, this guy who is who his is uh, muscle right he is the brain and he is the brawn that is sabu he is also very one of the one of my most favorite characters uh, by the way he is a descendant of jupiter if i'm not wrong right so but there was a bunch of characters other than chacha choudhury there is prawn there is billu there is shrimati ji i don't have all those characters lined up here because i'm not a big fan of all those characters I am a big fan of this too, and that's why I keep picking up these books whenever I see them. Uh, Sabu and Raka, right? Um, so Sabu is is like uh, like Superman, uh, a descendant from another planet, and he has uh, this alien powers. Raka instead drank some magic potion and became the giant he is, right? But their battles are are very very interesting. Uh, it brings a lot of character and a lot of action into the books, right? Uh, mostly the other books earlier to this was. Uh, mostly about chacha choudhury easily beating um, his uh, nemesis by his wits and his uh, uh, brain but with raka you need a lot of uh, muscle uh, to win wars and that's where sabu comes in right so i do collect um, uh, raka's battles uh, that's one thing i keep doing it um, then i show you some a bunch of other books i've i've um, picked up uh, more so by more nostalgia than actual i have not i have not done a deep reading into this i just pick them randomly keep them in my collection now since it's a lockdown very good time to pick those up and rewind the memories so that's that's why i thought of sharing with you guys now other th- so nowadays i i also wanted to show you the other books that is that you can still get right this are the ones which are kind of like out of print you don't get this kind of books which are uh, for me it's in the from the uh, late 90s and early 2000 uh those sort of books uh, which are I'm, i'm showing here let's let's take an example i'll open up one and see yeah printed um is there a year uh, i don't see any year by the way um uh, diamond comics is based out of delhi uh, i think in noida if i'm if i'm not wrong right um so there is no year uh, which gives it away uh, unfortunately right uh, but some of these are also recent yeah see this these are all recent books Uh, even the ads look a bit reason i try to go for the ones which are a bit more uh, you know old fashioned right um, the pages yeah see the pages here uh, the faded newspaper print kind of pages this is what i like because that's what i 
uh, grown up reading and the uh, new ones like the one i showed you some time back these are the glossy ones these are more recent ones right um, just to give you a comparison but the ones which you get very easily nowadays are the ones which 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 is which i'm have have here for display they call it diamond tunes right and uh, it's pretty cheap i think it's around 50 bucks yeah they have more relevant stories this is akshay kumar from uh batman right uh, so they have bunch of stories like that i don't know why i picked up i may uh, some day i will maybe pass it on to my next generation um right so some stories like that uh so for you guys if you want to explore them do definitely check out the other characters uh, billu pinky srimati ji all those are also good as well and um, Devon Comics has also been associated some with some TV series um for example Captain Viom is is was one of another very um interesting series which i used to watch as a kid uh, along with Shaktiman and both of this series are endorsed by Diamond Comics in one way or the other by the way Shaktiman comics are also published by Diamond Comics i had a few of them i lost it in due time maybe uh, if i find i will definitely collect and show you guys in the future uh, but that's still a big maybe right but um interesting fact is also they also published a bunch of 3d comics which which is which kind of like they are the pioneers of it they didn't publish too many maybe around 30 40 of them but still it's it's it was like a pioneer pioneering step at that time at that point in time and used to interest us a lot as kids uh, to get those 3d goggles and uh, you know check out the pages which looks very very weird without the glasses i mean um um so if you lose your glasses that's it you can throw the book in the uh, in the dustbin right no no more use of it and they published in multiple local languages that's another interesting fact this one is in hindi they published in tamil they published it in telugu um um right um a, b- a bunch of other regional languages uh, on their day right and they still by the way they are very active uh, diamond comics if you just google it you will find their website they also have a facebook page they also sell a bunch of comics if you guys want to pick up definitely go there and you can do that what they did after this obviously was before gotham comics came in they also used to license characters from overseas right and those are the stories which i'm showing you here they licensed characters like phantom who is obviously one of my favorites so whenever i see this old diamond comic phantom i do pick them up mandrake is another one this is a pretty interesting book um, i was very lucky to find it although it's in not in a great condition because it's in black and white right oh shit no it's it is not oh okay I thought it was black and white. No, it's in color. Okay. Uh, do I have anything in black and white? No, I don't have. But earlier it used to be in black and white as a, as far as I remember at least the first few issues. So that is Diamond Comics. Um they also had uh, Phantom, Mandrake, Flash Gordon was another guy. Um then they had um uh then they ventured out into the other famous characters. He-Man was another one I would love to get some of those old comics for He-Man, but it's damn costly nowadays. Batman they were in some sort of way even associated with this comics uh I don't exactly know I mean on the cover page it says uh, for example Gotham but uh, I think Diamond Comics was the distributor for this right so I have a lot of comics in this this uh, genre right um uh, the the covers you can see I will definitely take you through a separate video on all these covers uh but i still don't have the complete collection and that's why i don't want to spoil the fun by not having the entire collection at one go and then showing you guys some day i will get it and then i'll show you the entire run but uh, right now i don't have it um uh but uh, even there are tarzan so all these characters were licensed by diamond comics and they did publish them uh in in some way or the other so that's uh, so in if you go to their website you will see they are the they claim themselves to be the world's largest publisher and distributor of indian comics right so they may be competing with raj comics and the likes right uh, if if i am to uh, conclude uh, but anyways thanks it this also a, a homage video uh, i think um, it's a homage that goes out to all the diamond comics um, um, you know uh, founders and the team uh, thanks for giving us the opportunity to relive all these characters in our childhood and uh, keep uh, doing the great work that you have and uh, keep publishing the comics which can also appeal in my opinion to adults as well as the young age alike right so that's it thanks for watching guys have a nice day please do subscribe and uh, uh, stay safe